for Gravity Falls review. Um, I haven't talked about the show before, except for like that one video I did. Um, it's a great show. It got very. It had only 14 episodes, but they had so much character development, story, and mystery that you could talk about it for as long as you could talk about something more fanfic. So it's a good show when you can do something like that. This one is just fun, you know. I actually liked it more than Boss Mabel, which was a typical episode. Um, basically, they fall down a bottomless pit, which happens to be there, and get from there, they tell a story, like Sri World. And each story is very interesting, got something moral, and ended up all being very funny. And really great. Each one feels like a rejected episode that they didn't have enough to for for 20 minutes. And, um, and I can see why. The first one would have been like a retread, it would have been magnet. The second one just didn't have that much of a plot. Then the third one, well, that one they probably wanted to be a full episode, and they wanted to tie it. into something, so they created this in order to tie into it. The first one is by Dipper, it called Voiceover. The Shipper, it gets to hear about a high, squeaky voice, which is not high and squeaky at all. Go, so he goes for Old Man McGucket from the episode 2, we have a gong lock on. To get a new voice, so he totally looks like a man you can trust. But I digress, and he gets a new voice, which everyone hates. And it's been an interesting, a lot of great jokes in terms of the voice, and the guy he prank calls, and you know, a lot of, a lot of great jokes from him. Okay, you can run, Bob, you're talking to me, nightmare. I'm calling that, I'm talking to you, nightmare. And the uh, name I'm no like, you know, a lot of good lines in here. It's kind of a weekend story, and they're more typical, uh, but I still quite liked it. It did feel like an actual episode, just condensed into the bare essential. And I liked that. It was very interesting, and it got funny off. And then we move on to Fuku's story, which is... Okay, I'm gonna go on rant to the cat cat for the title. Um, he can, uh, now it's time for Fuku's really awesome pinball story. Wait, is that a good title? Does it have to be like pun or whatever? It shows the title card, it gets the entire thing, the pun bit, and the show aired it, they covered it up with a thing that says, you're watching Gravity Fall. No shit, Sherlock. God damn it, I really hate that. Like, I called it one leaked until I knew what the thing at the bottom had, but they covered it up with what, what a really funny gag. Think for being fun of it, if uh, you're watching television thing. So, but yeah, the story itself is good. Um, Goof is playing on a pinball machine, and he get he wants the high score. But Dipper suggests cheating. He does, and boom, he gets stuck into the pinball machine by the guy to teach to teach him lesson about yo know, cheating. And that one's mostly just fun with them trying to get their way out. And Goof playing with kind of cheating. And Goof is shown to be dumb because at one point he honestly is trying. Between living and having a quiet score, because they have to reset it. But wait a minute, if he just played after we reset it, wouldn't it automatically be a high score and the only one there? It's not much of a dilemma there, Goof. Well, anyway, um, but yeah, not much of a story, but you know, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of good jokes. Like, one of my favorite jokes is when he when King of Oak, uh, you know, Figuring that are in there, it's like a wench there, and you're like, hey lady, and then Dipper just turns around. But at the end, when they get cut down, you go, you figure that Pimal wench will call me? You know, a lot of good stuff, a lot of fun with the story, probably an really interesting story given his personality, and we show that he can be kind of dumb too, and maybe he doesn't learn his lesson all the way, but that would make him so interesting. He, he can be smart, but also very um, dumb at the same time, but really interesting. Now for, oh, after that, Stan tell his story. Local Stan went to football bowl. Yeah, and which he won the football game, wins, had a bunch of football players in the gang that they thought, we thought old people were lame. Now you're cool. And then a hot chick comes on a trophy, and then, then a robot comes that he invented. And going to make the building me daddy. And go end the greatest story ever told, but everyone hates it. It's the best story ever. So much go back in the end credits. 
very good. Uh, they decoded Mechic, you know, hint cat, the cat get one. But it's really funny. Bancorn from Family Hake, going on to the real first story by Mabel, Truth Ake, in which Mabel noticed a lie, and a lie, like a lie. So she goes to the forest and finds the teeth that make you tell the truth to the lie. But come on, Mabel, lie, God, the glue, that, oh yeah, yeah, no rest. So then Mabel starts telling the truth about several things, like, like a good gag, when he doing attack and he just write, I've committed tax fraud. <laughs> or, or, Buffy gag when Blub in the oh god name come in and basically the whole line thing instigated by a great gag when um he stole a bear to ride a unicycle they don't ask and the police come and say hey I ain't allowed because no my daughter was trying to be a king eye bear and the message gang from Dr. Medicine if at the end they come and go, hey, ain't no Dr. Medicine. If any mm -hmm. tell the truth, but after the game that, he goes, oh, we are fat. That's probably a fun story. Well, for one, that probably had the most material for an episode. You know, Stan trying, you know, Stan just lying, telling the truth. And what's interesting that he, the teeth don't make him regret it. It's like, he can get and he can get perfectly happy. I like, get perfectly normal for him to gain Anything. He doesn't like go all Spanish, but well, funny to keep him just constantly say weird shit like, Hey, I'm gonna go to battle, crash myself in planking I shouldn't mention, you know? That's why Stan's my favorite character actually, he's just really funny. But, you know, it's not a cool show, he's not a completely terrible person. It's not our way. Are you sure he wants you to plunk and blindfold and get into a car? But God, it's not that bad, he's not that bad. And I think, there's a lot of funny guys, they do be very I'm going to show it, but I'm going to tomorrow. But then, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give away the twist. In the twist ending, you find out that actually happened. In fact, that's why they needed a pit, but she could throw away her teeth. And I'm not giving away how it survived it, or how it ends, or the end credits, but it's all very funny. Not the game, I'm going to go. All the story has some interesting jokes, all the charm of the show, and good moral about, you know, cheating. You know, lying and such, and it's all very interesting. All the characters get good jokes. Well, not much development, but it's a lot of fun. So, I definitely give it a name. I really liked it. A lot of fun. So, that's my review, I guess. Um, in two weeks, yeah, another two weeks, Gravity Falls gets the pool in the deep end, which Dipper goes after Wendy, who's going after some other guy, Mabel going after some guy. And it's all probably gonna be really funny. So I uh, can't wait for that. So there you go. I'll probably talk about the show more in the future to show why I like it. But for now, just here that's my review bottom of it. A minus. Bye bye.